Yo. <laughs> I gotta turn it up again. I like, I swear it's been like lately. One's going up, one's going down, one's going up. But yeah, okay. This is gonna be crazy, y'all. Because things are gonna hit the fan in like 8,000 directions. So many different ways for this to go wrong. But it's fine. We're, we'll make it work. And... <sighs> in due time in due time because today we get another encounter because last episode we literally spent the entire time getting the encounter so <laughs> with that being said let's get another one shall we let's waste all of this episode's time on another encounter speaking of other encounters i was picking up berries right because well if i don't if i didn't already mention to you guys those are randomized apparently because apparently you can randomize them I had no idea you could until this let's play so I did it correctly good on me I guess but I don't know how in the world I did it correctly so we got an ice stone which I don't know what that does um, I actually straight up thought that was gen 8 so apparently that was gen 7 um, the only thought process is Glaceon, but we have Mount Lanakila in this game to evolve Glaceon, like an icy rock, and we have a mossy rock, too, so I don't know, um, but it is what it is, our encounter was a Gothita with Rain Dish with a pretty trash moveset, so we'll never use her, her name's Gwen, named off of the total drama island, Gwen, which is super silly that I that like that, that that name popped up to me from that like show. Um, because when that popped into my head, I was like, well, we already have a character named Gwen, and I said it doesn't matter, it's a different Gwen. They're they're just like there's multiple Johns, there can be multiple Gwens. Shady Penguin's Jonathan, and my brother in law is also named Jonathan. So anyways, getting this, we got protein. Um so yeah. So we got to figure out what our encounter in this cave is. Because this is considered something different. Well, it, no matter what, we got our encounter. Um, <laughs> okay, well, that's an easy capture, and I'll take that. I will take that. We forgot to heal. <laughs> Good job, us. I mean, I'll be 100% honest right now. I don't feel like it's going to have a freaking electric move. And if it does, I'm sorry, Magic, but it was just destined. Swagger. I'll take that, actually. I like that. That's gonna put... That's gonna confuse me, but that doesn't hurt me. So we have a dive ball for, uh... Pokemon that live underwater. I think that constitutes as water types and stuff like that, and it doesn't necessarily... Ooh, I'm wrong. Okay. So it is actually location-based good to know for the future i mean it was just a random dive ball i found on the ground so I, was, I didn't really care too much about it um but with this being a ram raid i'm just gonna check pokeballs at it and just hope because i think that's just gonna be the best way to handle this situation i don't have any repels gosh dang it i keep forgetting repels it's fine and the reason it's fine is because i have to save up ten thousand dollars to rebuy the grisius orb that i freaking messed up on anyways so it's okay Ooh, we have a sniper fight and a hollow fight. Ooh. Yikes. What a lovely realization I just made. Great job, me. So, today, we are drinking something out of the ordinary. We are drinking this, like, body armor. I don't typically drink stuff like this. I was just wanting to get water because I went to the gas station today to get gas, and so I had cash, so I saved my dollar fifty by paying in cash. That's the dumbest ever, by the way. <gasps> I actually know what I'm naming this. Shammy. Uh, let me name this Shammy. My grandparents' Siberian Husky. That was forever ago i understand that me but it's fine we can have throwbacks we were talking about things that were 20 years old last episode why does that actually constitute <laughs> oh my god that actually constitutes too 
I mean, it's past tw- or Chammy's past the twenty, but still, that <laughs> that still constitutes that I hate it. Um, okay, we have Slush Rush, a terrible ability, water gun, rain dance, arm thrust. You know what? I'll take it. I'm not gonna say no to another mod of the box, especially one that'll evolve. Grip Claw has been placed in our back. We don't have repels, so I'm just not going to touch that area right now. I will go item hunt there later. Unless I have a repel. Then I can item hunt now, but I highly doubt that I remember to buy those. Especially the fact that I have so much money I could be burning in this game. But it failed. Okay, yeah, I did fail. I believe we get healed post battle, and honestly, we can waste these potions. We're not going to use them. On it's we're going to get to the super potion portion of this game anyway, so I'm not necessarily the most upset slash worried about wasting hyper potions. Mm, that would have been great, but no, we did not. Oh. I just realized it is daytime, and it is, I think, the first time y'all have seen day, which is quite frankly surprising, considering I 100% expected it to be occurring more at night than in the daytime. But okay, then. We are saying we're seeing day for the first time. I guess good on us for having a better schedule than normal. Um... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Like, if I need to compliment myself for that. Because, yeah, technically, I've had a better, like, recording schedule when it comes to this. But also... Yeah, like I said, I don't know how to categorize that. Because, yeah, technically, I've had a better schedule. Just straight up. But... Okay, Cosmog. I don't really care. I, I, can, I, well, I care about Cosmog, obviously, because I have one. I have a Cosmogium. But what I don't care about is, I want to care about more is this item. And if it's going to be, you know, how <laughs> I shouldn't be item hunting. I want Shady on the layout more. But also, I care about my Pokemon. Ooh, actually, that's just a trainer. That was pointless going over there. Oops. I didn't realize that. Also, yeah, so like I said, we're fighting Hala. We're fighting How and Hala in today's episode. And then the episode after, we're going into another 6v6 fight. Like, there's two things. And then we end off and we have our... Oh. I knew we didn't care about Cosmog. I didn't realize the item was on the other side. I thought, mm, whatever, it's fine. Oh, she heals us now, so we use our potions pointlessly. Again, does it really matter? No. Am I going to be upset about it? Of course I am. Why would I not be upset by wasting our free healing opportunity? Cosmo, you're not allowed to disappear on me, okay? No, Cosmo can do whatever it wants to because you're a bad trainer, Lily. What are you up to, Hal? Just finished up my trial. <laughs> hey, Gwen, you want to battle and see how good we are? No, but of course we have to. I don't want to, but it helps. Also, um, that's a ploy to we don't have to, but it helps or something like that. You don't have to, but it helps. I don't remember. Gosh dang it. I'm mad that I don't remember. Um... High Dragon lead, I'm not really proud of that. That's actually really rough. Because. Huh. That's not a good lead for us, actually, at all. Um, That's got us in a pickle. We don't have anything super effective against this. I'm going to stay in. I think my best course of action to handle this is going to be to Diamond Storm. Fly is stab, and I do recognize that. But I also think boosting my defense is important right now, which I got it. I got the 50-50. Brutal Swing. 
But yeah, I think you're getting the 50-50. And if I can get it twice, that would be great. But I don't expect to. It's the 50-50. Cool. Baboa is 18. Beegers is 16. Gly score is 18. Bayonet. I trust myself. We got a defense boost. I'm going to go with Stab Aqua Tail. This should do a good amount. Okay. Now, I might have to use the Lucky Egg a little bit more sporadically than I have been. Don Van, that's easy pickings. That's the Ace, too. Or, no, it's not. Ace is 15. Um, it's got to be, but... Honestly, we'll just get carried. I mean, we're in carry mode already, which is unfortunate because the game's just like is that they really steeped into some easier. To we we just you know we took one risk and it literally just paid off tremendously. That's gonna be this fight. We took one risk. I mean, if we get a we we use fly. Oh no, the even better yet, we have Blaze Kick. Oh, it didn't kill. Fly would have been better. Okay. To be fair, does it really matter? No. It's like having. I don't know. I don't know who you guys are going to kill because I, I honestly think that there's some good options on this table. There's a lot of good options on the table, like almost every time, but. We use fly. Dude, we just got a magic sweep. <laughs> magic didn't have to do anything. Magic sweep. Nice. Oh, we don't even have to worry about the two turn disaf. What? Oh, we gotta remember that. We have to remember that. With fly, that things can hit us through fly because we have no guard. Good we learned that now and not when it mattered and we literally would have gotten like nope Mr. Gwai score nope We really just said how I'm sorry, but you're dead. I mean that's literally what just happened. <laughs> how we're sorry, but you're pointless. I mean, I hate to say it, but it's true. We gotta catch that Tailwind and blast through Route 3. I mean, no, but I guess so. Don't you give... Oh, you have to defeat everybody on this, that on a specific, in a specific spot in order to even get access to that? Nope. Also, that's an easy TM. I want to go grab it. In a second. Ooh, good catch. Okay. Why in this series? Why in this series? <laughs> Give it to me in a different series, por favor. There's another series that I need fossils way more than this one, but it's a berry tree. Yes, it is. Oh, here. So you guys might be able to. I mean, hopefully, you'll see that. It, oh, I don't know what's better, Aluminia or Gothitelle. We had. A, I mean, we got a Gothrita, so we have a long ways before we get to Gothitelle, but. Oh, frick. We have to actually catch it or defeat it. <laughs> I want them berries. They can be master balls. They can be literally anything. They might be just quick balls, ice balls, blah, blah, blahs. But they could be anything. Rain dance. Oh, cool. I know what I'm using next to them. But yeah, I can't catch any more Lumineon. I'm sorry. Razor Claw. Okay, so these are different items. A Super Potion. I'll take a free Super Potion. And I'll take a free $4,800. Yes. Free monies. Who would deny free money like that? $4,800? Heck yes. Just for picking berries? 
Heck yes. Mr. Unlimited. I mean, honestly, we have unlimited cash flow if we can just pick those berries. We have more cash than Russell Wilson has touchdowns this season. That's not, e that's not even hard, to be honest. But... We got more... Hollow's like, I'm ready to battle you. Okay, like, we literally have more, from this episode alone, more <laughs> stuff. Um, hmm. You know what, Hala? I trust my lead. I'm going with my gut. I'm just saying, screw it. Because if I can beat this episode and just nail it like that, I have to go anyway to the place that sells the, not the hyper potions, the, uh, Whatever the place is called. The um the thing for Satan. I literally told Charizard too. I was pretty on the nose on this. I was like, eh, it doesn't really matter with the Satan thing because I would get it at like 238 or 239 anyway. And here we are, 238. He's leading off with a freaking cotton aim. My coverage isn't that good. It's just that they're sending trash. Like, yes, I know that being able to click a button with no fear is, well, it is what it is. I'm like being able to click it, but like water, grass, again, here we are with another grass type that I'm just going to, you know, click fly on because, well, it's fly. It's super effective stab. And what is he going to hit me with? Oh, that actually did help him. Love you too. Yeah, it did help him. But... Hmm. <laughs> Satan's level 17. Yeah, I mean, again, my, I'm at my... Bruh, three grass types? Dude, you don't need three grass types. I mean, I, am pr I can say that I'm proud that your three grass types had three different secondary typings. What? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's the scariest Bulbasaur ever. Oh, no. Wait a minute. It has Diamond Storm. It still says it's a Bulbasaur. What happened? Is it a Gyarados? Oh no. Because if I click the wrong button, we can be in some serious... I'm going to go with that it's a Gyarados now and it's not a Bulbasaur. And that I had a possibility of illusion. Oh my God. Okay, so... I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know because illusion would have popped up. Y'all are going to have to explain what the frick just happened in the comment section, please. Because, I mean, yes, if 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 I was... I don't even know how I was wrong. It said illusion after the fact, right? Also, I know I have negative one attack. And my no guard went away. That That's literally what you, you should have done in the first place. But okay. Watch, well, she's now a miss. Mm-hmm. John Luck. If it's not certain, it doesn't work. Buy the John Luck merch. It exists. No, it doesn't. But it. I we've been wanting it to exist for a long time, and so I'm trying to make it work. Um. Again, if it ain't certain, it won't work. Welcome to John Luck. <sighs> That's that was actually funny. I'm glad I missed the very first attack I used with no out no guard. 
<laughs> like, that was just perfect. But it, it, it was meant to be. Poison Tail. Yay! Here's the funny thing, is Ye's actually still getting the love and attention that Ye deserves. Sandy Gast. Sandy Gast is the little boy. Yes, it is. <laughs> magic. Just like, yep, I can switch you back out now. Because if the last thing is... Like, okay, so I get... But, like, water and fire... Isn't a lot, though. Water covers... What? Ground rock? Ground rock... So really the main things and fire covers the ground rock and fire um, and then fire covers grass I thought that was koa lava not quilladin um, grass covers or fire covers grass Ooh, I'll take that over acid. Acid has a chance. Acid spray is guaranteed. I'll take that. That's a win. Um, fire covers grass. Bug. Grass and bug. And ice. Grass, bug, and ice. And then flying covers... Grass bug fighting. So like again, that fire and flying don't cover any type like really other than flying or fighting. Anything that helps me. So like it's literally I think just been the Pokemon I have to fight that is literally just been perfect. I know it's like, well, if that's the case, why are you using your, your, your Pelipper? Well, who in, who in their right mind would use Pelipper over Gyarados? No, I'm joking. I mean, yes, in certain situations, it could be better. Just like I think with the Quilladin, it would have been better because I have a one-turn flying attack. So, like, realistically, I've... Like, if I'm fighting a fighting type, I would really want to just go into Pelipper and use Aeroblast. And Pelipper would be the better option. I'm just having fun with magic, okay? It's fine. Optimization? What does that matter when you have a team like this? No, I'm joking. This team's actually just... It's gonna it's gonna domino effect. It's what most teams do. Once you remove a piece of the puzzle, it domino effects. It's going to happen again. As it usually does, and as it should. That's the whole point of the domino effect. But. Yeah, I was going to say, the whole point of the domino effect is for that to happen. So, if it didn't, there would be a little bit of a problem. Oh my gosh, you get to ride on the tour house now. Oh my god, who actually cares about that? Not me. Oh my god, you found it. You did what you were supposed to do in the game. Congratulations. You've obtained Sacred Sword. I'm going to make sure that it was not Secret Sword. And that was Sacred Sword. So that's the... That is thine f special attacking one. Not the physical attacking one, for those that don't know. Secret. No. I was wrong. I think I just said that wrong. I think we got the physical attacking one. Oh my gosh, I wanted to know if everything was alright. Nebby's far away, and I want to save him. And you're a good Pokemon trainer. So, um, you gotta help me with this task. <laughs> Fine, I don't want to, but I have to. So, it's not like I have a choice in the matter. Okay, right pager. And then, was it, what do I want to do? What did I want to do? Oh, I wanted to check TMs. It is the physical one. And, ooh, actually, that's two good Pokemon that I will take having that. Buy Soft Boiled. Self Heal move does not really matter too much, to be honest. And Mrs. Gwai, or er, uh, Miss Gwai score. 
I can safely get rid of Bulldoze now. Yeah. I'm not necessarily worried about the speed stat of my opponent's being Pokemon. Speed stat doesn't really... The speed stat of all stats, I think... Personally, I think matter the least. What do you guys think? What stat matters the most in Pokemon? Like I said, I think the speed stat's the one that matters the least. Because, yes, attacking first is a luxury... But it is not a necessity. OSHA violations. I figured. <laughs> um, and it's the nurse. <laughs> the Pokemon Center sends out Corabominable. See, this is a this is a moment where it is 100% better to send in Beegers to Aeroblast, because this has no special defense, but it has physical defense. I didn't know it had freeze-dry, but I just saved Magic's life. <laughs> How does that work? <laughs> Magic's life just got saved because of that. <laughs> Wow. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for giving us a laugh, Pokemon Center lady. Um, I actually eh? in the best possible Pokemon. This is an honorable sacrifice. <laughs> that was a very honorable sacrifice. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to Stealth Rocks. Usually I would not say goodbye to Stealth Rocks. But let's be 100% real here. That's Stealth Rocks. That's amazing. I couldn't risk Balboa because of the fighting type move. And Freeze Dry was already quad weak. Four of my mons were quad weak to that. And another Pokemon that was weak to that. So, Beakers, <laughs> your honor, your honorable sacrifice is a great first death of this run, to be honest. Oh. I swear, if Beakers can learn this. I guess it really doesn't matter. Ooh, Gwyscore can learn it. Gwyscore become threatening, though. Oh, I had Air Cutter. Or I was trying to learn Air Slash, and I had Air Cutter. I'm dumb. But it really, truly does not matter, because we're getting Bullet Punch instead. That's that's unfortunate, again, for Beegers to die in that, man that way. But man, it sure is ironic. Because of course... Oh, you just saved Magic's life. Cause wait, did he like because Magic could not have taken that either at all. Nor could have Gwyscore. Gwyscore wouldn't have been able to take that either. So, like literally most of the team Ooh, I can get encounters still. Hmm. We're back to this dang choice of do I get my encounter? Or do I add from the party? That's how we got beers in the first place, to be honest. Okay, no. No, I have to, right? I have. I have zero choice in the matter. I have got zero choice in the matter. Shady Penguin's got to stay on the ladder no matter what. That's exactly what it is. And now, what we do... Is we save our two encounters. No. 
We save for two encounters because, to be frank, we can have a, like a full out encounters episode later. But I want my stinking thing back. I just don't know where it is. It's the second store somewhere. That looks like hats. That's a food place. That looks like Malasadas. I've never been in here before, but whoa. Oh my gosh, what a terrifying restaurant. If you're looking for an elegant dinner experience, then let me tell you, you're in the wrong place. Welcome to the Battle Buffet. We we'll offer all your hate buffet here, all the delicious staff, lots of the chow down to your heart's content. However, our shop is frequented by a lot of Pokemon trainers, and if you and another patron have a dispute over some food, you can settle it with a Pokemon battle. Whether or not you leave here satisfied depends on the strength of your Pokemon, but that's what the battle buffet is all about. How can I help you today? Come back later. No, we're not going to be here. Where's the antique sh shop? Are you the antiques guy? There we go. We have obtained the Grissy's Orb. I've never had to, like, be here before, so that's weird to just buy the Grissy's Orb. But... We're back to normal, everyone. I guess to be fair, though, the other, the other, if I decided to not pass up on Origin Forms, we wouldn't have had that problem. But for some reason, because I transported him in the game, he was not okay to just be staying in Origin Form. I guess, to be all completely honest, he wasn't in origin form to begin with, so therefore it made more sense for us to have to wait till this point. Wait till this point, but... Wait till this point and... But yeah, oh my gosh, we're going on the boat. Well, we'll see you guys in the next city, because honestly, this is just Cutscene Alley, and who gives a flying fludge about Cutscene Alley? Okay, let's be... F yeah, we, I mean, we don't... We don't care about cutscene alley, so we will see you guys in the next episode when we kind of are figuring out who the we added Machamp because we love Machamp, so it's fine. Bye, y'all. We're gonna kick it up a notch in the next episode. No, we aren't. We're gonna stay this exact volume. Bye.